Delighted now to be joined by Toronto FC's newest signing, Pacific FC champion from last year in the CPL, Caden Chung. Caden's joining us from Texas, where he's getting ready to start the new MLS season. Caden, we're absolutely thrilled for you here at the Canadian Premier League. What's this feeling like for you? It's an amazing feeling, KJ. I mean, something that, uh, that's been kind of in the back of my mind for, for over a decade now, you know, since I was a, an academy kid. Um, I thought I would do it the, the homegrown way growing up, but um, um, for, for multiple reasons, I mean, it didn't work out. But uh, now, that it, now that it's finally happened, it's, it's an amazing feeling. So talk us through the process, Kane. You were obviously invited on trial. That's obviously gone very well for you to get the deal. What was the feedback when you get there? What did you need to work on? And, and, and how did you end up you know, finalizing this deal? I mean, yeah, the, the opportunity kind of came after the, after the new year. And um, to my surprise, you know, Bob was, was in direct contact. And he's pretty much um, saying that he's been, been following along um, my progression throughout the years and uh, while he, while he was at LAFC as well. So, um, you know, it was, it was an amazing feeling for me, you know, to be recognized in that way. And then obviously mid, mid January, I get to arrive in LA for, for the first part of preseason. And, you know, um, he just kind of told me, um, you know, play, play how you play, you know, I've, I've seen you play. Um, we wouldn't have you here if we weren't interested. So, um, it, it kind of eased, eased my nerves a bit um, that I wasn't just coming in, um, you know, for numbers or, or, or something like that. Um, so in my mind, uh, the confidence grew and, and I had, uh, in my shot, in my opinion, a, a, a realistic shot at, uh, at seeing this come through. So, um, you know, it's, it's been an amazing preseason so far, um, learning uh, uh, Bob's ideas and, and executing them. You know, I think about maybe uh, a week ago, he, he let me know the news and, you know, it's been an amazing feeling. So when you got that, obviously you got a massive smile on your face and it's wonderful to hear that you were given that confidence right away. Uh, who was your first call? Who do you think about when you got, when you've made it to that level? Oh, I, I, uh, I did a group FaceTime, um, my girlfriend and my parents, obviously. Um, and I, I tried to try to play it off cool, but uh, I think they knew right away. <laughs> Um, I couldn't get, you know, like you said, the smile off my face. So um, very exciting. Um, obviously, I had to keep it quiet for, for a bit, um, which was tough. Um, but I, I'm glad that they were able to know and, and I could share that experience with them. You talked earlier, Caden, about your route, obviously being a little bit of a different one involved with the Whitecaps. You come to the Canadian Premier League, undoubtedly one of the finest fullbacks we've seen in the Canadian Premier League. You were marvellous in the final as well. What did the Canadian Premier League do for your development, uh, both as a player and a young man? Um, it was huge. I mean, the, the player aspect of it, it, it gave me uh, an opportunity to play regularly. Um, obviously, with covid um, the past two years, it's been a bit altered, but um, I was still able to get, I think, over 60 games in, in the span of three years, which was a big part of my development. And personally, I mean, after I was in Germany in 2018, I got back in the summer um, and I had to really think about, you know, what, what kind of path I wanted to take after things didn't really work out there. Um, and at the time, there wasn't um, a lot of opportunities um, for me. So the CPL really helped me regain kind of the love for the game. And, you know, I started to play um, more for myself and for the enjoyment of it. And um, it helped me fall in love with the game again. So, I mean, I feel like I play my best when I'm enjoying myself. And um, really the last three years, I've just been trying to focus on, on really enjoying my football. So. Um, in terms of that, it, it really kind of pushed me to try to get to that next level. You go to a team, and I spoke to Lucas about this, and we'll get to Lucas in a minute, but you go to a team where winning matters. It's, it's, it's an absolute mandate, and you arrive as a winner. How has that changed your mindset? And, and looking back at that game in December when you lifted the trophy in Hamilton, uh, how much was that now a fitting finale for you to end that CPL side of your life? It was almost, you know, a storybook. Like, uh, I mean... It, once you get a taste, uh, you just wanna you wanna keep going. So um, TFC has a great history. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm here not only to just you know kind of grow as a, as a player and a person, but to make an impact. And 
um, this group is a strong group and I feel like um, we have every opportunity, every chance of, of winning. Um, and I'm excited to be a part of it. As I said, now 50% of Pacific FC's back four from that final is part of Trots FC. Yourself and, of course, Lucas McNaughton. What's it like having Lucas around, the, a familiar face, I'm sure, and, and we know Lucas keeps things light with you. Yeah, it was definitely definitely helped in the in the transition. Um, it can be a scary, scary thing sometimes coming into a new team um, where, where you're not too familiar with people. But um, having him here has definitely helped me kind of settle in um, especially in training, you know, I can have him right beside me, and, you know, in, in some of the practices. And um, it's given me a bit of confidence, but as well, he's, he's kind of introduced me to, to a lot of the guys. And, and he, before I, before I even got into preseason camp, he gave me a little kind of rundown of, of what to expect. So um, in that aspect, he's been, he's been really helpful and, and I'm looking forward to continue playing with him. I mean, I, I lived with him my two first years at Pacific. Um, so I know him quite well now. So uh, can't get rid of him. Yeah. I, hey, but it's a, it's it's a good guy to have around. It certainly is a great guy, great personality. A couple more, I'll let you go. Toronto FC have had a lot of turnover uh, this off season, as I, as I know you're aware. But there's still a core group, a core group of real leaders there that have been there for a long time. You think of Azorio, Michael Bradley, Chris Mavinga, Pazuelo, the goalkeepers, Westberg, Bono, many others. What's it like being around these guys, that leadership team? What have you learned already being in their, in their presence? Well, at first, you know, I was a bit starstruck, uh, I'll admit. Um, you know, I think the, the first meal I had, I, I was sat with a lot of the, the veteran guys. Um, just being able to, to listen to them, um, hear some of the stories, um, take advice at the beginning was, was really refreshing. Um, and then after I kind of got settled into the football side of it, um, the, the feedback and encouragement from them have been something I wasn't expecting. You know, um, it can be tough, like I said, for, for someone to come in and, and perform well, but, but having them have a bit of confidence in me uh, has really helped out. And um, I, honestly, I, I'm surprised of how um, nice each and every one of them were. Um, they've again really su supportive really helpful the advice they've been giving me is it has been honestly very helpful in, in trying to adapt to this level so um, I'm very appreciative of it yeah I know you said you're a little starstruck you watched TFC for years before you you get there what's it going to be like when Lorenzo Insigne comes over and you start mocking him in training and become a teammate with him that's going to be an experience for sure I mean it, it, it's going to help my game a lot uh, I can say that but um Honestly, it's tough to say because he's not here yet, but I mean, just his resume and, and everything he's done for the game. Um, he's someone that I've followed for a while as well. Obviously, he's a big name in football. So um, to have him have just a similar faith in, in the MLS as well. You know, he's not coming, um, you know, in, in his mid to late 30s, but um, he, he's coming to make an impact. And um, I'm, I'm excited to learn from him, talk to him a bit, trying to, trying to uh, listen to some of his experiences. Um, and then, you know, in training, like you said, it's, it's going to be a challenge, but it's, it's one that I'm excited for to, uh, to help myself grow. Last one for you, Caden. Again, we are so thrilled for you. This has been an awesome move uh, and, and you're going to be great there when there's no doubt about it. But what advice would you be, would you have to maybe a player who's in your situation the way you were two or three years ago, where they were thinking maybe of going to the Canadian Premier League, they're not sure. What kind of advice would you to give to them about, about the Canadian Premier League and, and what it can help young Canadians? I mean, the, the CPL is an amazing league already. I mean, it's been around for only three years, but you could tell each year that, that the game's growing. Uh, within the league. Um, I would just say that um, my advice would be someone's always watching, you know. Um, I feel like I, I'm not the, a flashy player in any, any way. I, I don't usually, you know, take the headlines or anything like that, but I feel like my game's been consistently uh, good over the, over the last three years, um, and it, it had been recognized for it. So, um, someone's always watch, you know, um, play um, with, with hard, play with, with honor and, uh, and something, who knows, something could happen. So 
that's my advice. Yeah, very well said. And I know the Pacific fans are going to miss you and certainly your connection with Marco Bustos on that right-hand side, which is a, a real dynamic duo, but I'm sure they're delighted to watch you in Major League Soccer. Congratulations again, Caden Chung, on a fantastic dream move to an unbelievable club in Toronto FC. You're going to be great. Uh, good luck and we'll speak to you soon. Thanks, KJ. See you soon.